Hi, welcome to another session on statistics with Python. My name is Shreya. I work as a data analyst at Takad Guild. So today what we will be looking in this session is about data types. Based on the values they take, it can be divided into categorical and numerical value. Under categorical variable, we can go ahead and divide it into nominal and ordinal. And under numerical, we can go ahead and subdivide it into continuous and discrete. Knowing the value of data types enables you to choose the correct method of analysis. The first data type what we will discuss is continuous data type. If the measurement can take any value within some range, it is called as continuous data type. For example, let us take my car speed. It could range anywhere between 0 to 200. Let me show you an example in my Jupyter notebook. Alright, so as you all know, first let us go ahead and import all the important libraries that is numpy, pandas, matplotlib.pyplot and matplotlib.inline for visualizing in the Jupyter notebook. So let us see a continuous variable. Let us take an example for continuous variable. So what I will be doing here is using np dot random dot normal to go ahead and create a normal distribution data set and store it in h and i will be sorting it as well so that it is in a normal distributed manner here i will be taking the mean value as 20 and standard deviation value of 2 we can go ahead and check if our mean value and standard deviation value is varying according to the normal distribution as well so as you can see, this is a syntax to verify. Let me go ahead and plot this using an histogram. So to plot using the histogram, we just use PLT and under PLT, we have a module called hist and go ahead and give the data set value. Here I will be taking the bins as 30 and also I will be using normed is true. So this is our histogram. As you can see, it is not a discrete variable where it is not where we cannot count it and it is mostly continuous. So this shows us how our data is varying. Let me show you another way to visualize the data set in a continuous data type. So here I will be using scipy library and importing stats module from there and I will be plotting in such a manner so that we can see how our data is being distributed. Here under the module stats we have norm and here I'll be using PDF to go ahead and plot the data set and since we have taken the normal distribution as you can see the data has been normally distributed. The second type under numerical data type is discrete data. Discrete data represents the item that can be counted. They take possible values that can be listed out. For example when I roll a dice it can take six possibilities that is between one and six. So I'm going to take an example in my Jupyter notebook to show you how a discrete variable can be. Here I'll be taking the integer values as you all remember where I'll be using np.random.randint in the range of zero to four. And when I check the number of values it can create it is between zero and four that is zero, one, two, three. These are the values it will be taking. So let me quickly run this and I will be plotting this as well. As you can see, these are the values which the data can take that is either 0, 1, 2, 3. This is an example for discrete variable. Let's discuss some of the categorical data types. Ordinal data in which the items are assigned to categorical that do not have some kind of implicit or natural order. For example, let us take a movie rating. It could be anywhere in the scale of 1 to 10. So let me give you an example for categorical data. Over here, I will be creating a data set which is of a dictionary using group. Let me take it as group type of juice which we'll be producing. And these are the ounces which each of them will be produced. So let me go ahead and run this. So this will be our data frame or the data set. And I will be plotting this as well. So this will be the frequency of each of the type of juices which we will be producing. Once we have produced the types of juices, let's go ahead and find out the ratings. I will be adding a new column called rating to our data frame. 
and I will be using the random again random numbers just to see the ratings and let me see show you the ratings as well so these are the ratings which we will be giving to our particular juice types and let's go ahead and see how our ordinal data will look so I have plotted in such a way that these are the rankings for each of the type of juices and we can go ahead and analyze this by using the pie plot another type of categorical data is nominal data nominal data are often analyzed in the form of counts nominal data simply names something without assigning to it in order of its relation to another number or object in the data for example let me take a student if he's passing or if he's failing so in our previous data set what we have found is that it could be categorized in the juice types that is a type b type or c type this can be visualized again in our pie plot so this will be our pie plot for nominal and ordinal data and we can visualize this as well also we could go ahead and use this as stacked pie plot as well in our previous data we have found out the ordinal data how it has been plotted in a pie plot we could go ahead and use the same thing in our nominal data set as well we can visualize this by using the type of juices which we have produced that is a b and c and this can be the visualization tool so that we will able we will be able to see the nominal and the ordinal data in our data frame this can also be visualized using the tag bar plot as well now that we know the types of data let us look into visualization in our upcoming videos thank you for watching the video for more such videos, please do subscribe to our channel. A cat killed. Average is dead.